All right, looks like the Whites of England will be attacking the scoreboard and the Dark Blues USA going down towards the pony lines. Rory Torrey's going to throw the ball in and as he does, the clock will start. All looking good and the ball goes through the line out and it's picked up by the number four, Jimmy Wood. Jimmy Wood very quickly in control of the ball, bouncing along. He's trying to go past one, he's going past two, but he's just lost out of control of the ball and it bounces away from him. And a hit in to the Team USA. That was a very quick attack by England. The ball went right through the line out and Jimmy Wood picked it up immediately. Dan Keating going to take the hit in for USA. He sends the ball up in front of Charlie Bullis. Charlie Bullis now picks it up. He's going to try and move up. He's got Jimmy Wood looking at him. Charlie Wood sends a nice lofted shot up in front of himself. Can he get the cut shot towards the middle? No. Beaten by the bouncing ball. Dan Keating, a mini Keating. Mini Keating ridden out of it by Gary Ritsuni. And it's backed into the middle by Dan Keating. Charlie Bullis trying to get onto it. And the umpire blow a whistle for a line infringement. So that's the most common foul in polo, a line infringement. The line of the ball is in the direction in which it is traveling. Whether it's hit by a player or bounces off a board or bounces off a pony. Whatever direction the ball is traveling is the right of way. And a player traveling along that exact right of way has the right to the ball and nobody can cross him or slow him down by coming at a different angle. So that happens most of the time and in polo you'll get a foul. This is a 30 yard penalty, 30 yards from the goal. It's an open goal. They're not allowed to defend it. Minnie Keating takes it. Does she score? Minnie Keating does. So the home team USA get the first goal on the board, take advantage of the foul. And so the team's back to the middle. Remember, they're changing ends. And now the USA will be going up towards the NBC Channel 10 BMW scoreboard. Rory Torrey lines them up. Charlie Bullis tried to get it. Looks like it's gone through the pack again. And that Jimmy Woods onto it. Jimmy's just trying to get control. Dan Keating's going with him. Dan Keating's going to try and keep with him. Put as much pressure onto Jimmy as possible. It's right on the boards. They're just slowing down by the Canadian flag. Jimmy doing a neat little turn towards the centre. And Dan still riding him off, keeping him out to the far side. And under the next shot from Jimmy, but it's not going to get the angle that he wanted. And it'll run over the back line. And we'll have another hit in to USA. Dan Keating there with Charlie Bullis. Dan Keating taking off. Charlie Bullis making a little move in front of him, as is Michelle. The ball's up, and there's Jimmy Wood trying to direct his players. He's done neat. He look at that. He's left Michelle go over the top of it. Jimmy turns it. Now he opens his shoulders, sends a cracking shot up the front. Gary Renussi is over there. He's going to leave it, though, as Sebastian... No, that's uh, Stephen O'Kane over there, but he's not going to get to it before it runs over the back line. So some power hitting already from the England number four. Luckily he hasn't found the uh, target yet. Those goals are eight yards wide, so they're a fairly large target. There is no height to them as such. You can hit the ball as high as you like, as long as it goes between the posts, imaginarily as high as you like. Right, here comes the ball from Keating. Charlie Bullis taking out Jimmy Wood. Charlie Bullis still got it. Charlie's looking at Jimmy, and Charlie's going to try and turn it. What's he doing? He's like... Neat play, he's put it there right in front of Minnie, Charlie, Jimmy Wood sort of gets the little hook on, on Minnie and now he's turning the ball, the number four for England, the bounce beat him, what a backhand from Charlie Bullis, brilliant, Michelle turning quick, Michelle pretty quick onto that, goes for the under the neck, sort of overcuts it, Gary Renussi over there with Minnie Keating and Gary does a big circle in front of Minnie and Minnie's coming right down the line and the umpires blow a whistle, so another line infringement and this time the umpires are going to give another 30-yard penalty in favor of the USA. So it's an open penalty again, open goal. The Whites of England have to be behind the goal line and be away from the goal mouth. And USA get one shot at this. And who's going to take it this time? Wait for the umpires to call play. Looks like Charlie Bullis is taking it. Quick swing from Charlie. Sends it right through the goal. A second goal to the home team. Two open goal penalties. That's fortunate. So changing ends. 
The Whites of England going up towards the scoreboard now. Sebastian just on the wrong side. They're going to let him, umpires will let him change sides. There we go. See daylight between the teams. Throwing the ball in by Rory. Does it get through the pack? No. Jimmy Wood picks it up, trying to start England on the attack. Dan Keating over there gets a little touch to it. Stephen O'Kane now going to go forward for England. Gets a second shot away. Minnie Keating gets the backhand. Turning onto it brilliantly is Michelle. Now Michelle taking off. Trying to chase Michelle down is uh, Sebastian Tarnowski. Sebastian and Michelle going fast. Michelle still going. A brilliant play by Michelle. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. Michelle Nasir. What a goal by Michelle. Nice to get the first open field goal goal of the day and the home team starting strong I know they did take the English out to dinner last night at the Clark Cookhouse and they managed to get them to go to an after party somewhere else so maybe maybe they're a little dusty at the moment the visiting team all right, they're lining up, in comes the ball, comes straight off Charlie Bullis, gets the first hit, but there's Jimmy Wood, fakes the backhand, now turns the ball very neatly, Minnie Keating waiting for him, Jimmy Wood still going, Minnie disrupts the play, but Jimmy's well in control of that pony, now he turns upfield, and now he's got Charlie Bullis for company. And he's just walking, he's going to hit the ball, look at that, that looks better direction, it runs into Gary though, Stephen O'Kane gets the shot under it, can Stephen get the first goal for England? Yes he does, Stephen O'Kane, first goal for England, set up by uh, Jimmy Wood. I think we're going to have to see a lot more tighter marking on that Jimmy Wood. I've already seen that the uh, USA team are taking turns at going to him. Whoever's closest to Jimmy Wood's going to go and mark him, but he's a very accomplished horseman. They are riding borrowed horses, so they haven't ridden these horses before, so that does show how good of horse people they are, being able to play polo on borrowed ponies. Dan Keating wins the ride-off, gets the backhand, turns pretty quickly, going towards the ball is Jimmy Wood, gets the near side under the neck, passing it to Stephen O'Kane. Stephen, trying on the near side, didn't manage it. Dan Keating gets a little backhander. Gary Renussi sends the backhand into the middle of the pack again. And over on the far side, Jimmy Wood got Minnie Keating hooking his stick. Well played, Minnie. Jimmy Wood still going, though. Amazing play by Jimmy Wood, still going. And the umpires have blown a whistle. I think that might be called a two-on-one. Jimmy Wood still playing. Minnie on one side, and I think Charlie Bullis came in on the other side. So the umpires blow a whistle in favour of England. And it's going to be a 30-yard penalty, so again, an open goal penalty, this time in favour of the visitors. The USA have to be behind the goal line and away from the goal mouth. And uh, Jimmy Wood just teeing up the ball, making sure it's not in one of the divots. There's 50 seconds left on the clock of the first chucker. It's been going non-stop, haven't had a chance to draw breath, and here comes Jimmy Wood. See if he can get it within one. Nice easy swing from him and puts it straight through the post. So that is a second goal for England, two to three now. Still in favour of the home team, but my goodness, they can score goals quickly. So the second 30-second bell will go shortly, but they'll keep going. We'll get the throw off away. And Rory Torrey waiting to throw the ball in. In it comes with 25 seconds. Still time for a goal if Dan Keating can get on with it. A whistle goes, so we'll stop the clock with 20 seconds now on it. And the umpire's just explaining what the foul was for and where it's going. And it's not looking good. For the visitors, it looks like it's going to be a penalty in favour of USA. And at this time it's a 60-yard penalty, so 60 yards from the goal. It is a defended penalty this time. England have to be 30 yards back from the ball, behind the 30-yard line. But they can defend it, so they'll be between the goal mouth and the ball. And it looks like Charlie Bullis will be taking this, the number one for the home team. And here comes Charlie. The clock will start as he swings at it. Lovely. Look at that from Charlie. He's got it in the air. Has he got the distance? Jimmy Wood meets it. And it runs over the back line off Jimmy Wood's stick. So, 
So when the ball comes off a defender's stick, which it did there, Jimmy Wood took a swing to meet it and it came off his cane and then went over the back line. So when a defender hits it over his own back line, uh, we have a, what we call in polo a safety, the equivalent of a soccer corner. So the ball is put on the 60 yard line, opposite where it went over the back line. In this case, it wasn't very wide, so it's just off center. And uh, the attacking team get another go at it. So just count to two before you hit, before oh, yeah. you start. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be five seconds. So yeah. count two after you swung and start. So here comes Charlie Bullis taking this safety for the home team. And start. And it's met by Stephen O'Kane. Can he get it away? Not really. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy's there. Jimmy does well. There goes the second bell, and that ends the chucker with uh, Sebastian sitting on the ground. And that's where the second chucker will start, where the ball was when the bell went.